How to make the window zoom transition. Today's video is sponsored by the famous Instagrammer, Charles Bukowski. Add any fusion transition between your clips. Select the transition and open it in fusion page. Delete the transition node. Add a polygon mask to your second clip. Check the invert box and draw a mask around the window. Add a merge node after your first clip. Connect your second clip as a foreground to the merge node. Bring a transform node, go to the frame 14 and activate the keyframe for the size value. Move the pivot point and bring it in the middle of the window. Go in the first frame and increase the size slider until your image is completely out of the frame. Of course I could open up the spline editor and smooth out the animation, but today I'm not in the mood to flex my skills. Speaking about skills, my friends from Motion VFX decided to give you a pre-Xmas gift of $15 in your store account so that you can buy yourself a nice plugin or you can give the plugin as a gift to your girlfriend if you want to break up and spend the holidays alone. Leave a comment in this video starting with Motion VFX, following what plugin you think is missing for DaVinci Resolve. Register to the Motion VFX site. Send him a DM on Instagram or email, saying lazy artist giveaway in the email you used to register, so that they can add the $15 to your account. Now it's time to animate the first clip also. Add once again a transform node. Make sure that you are in the first frame, and activate the keyframe for the size and the center value. Go to the frame 14, scale down the size, and move the position of it. At this point you'll need to go back some frames and adjust the size to cover up the empty space. Add a new merge node. Duplicate your second clip, and connect it as a foreground to the merge. Select this second merge node. Make sure that you are in the frame 14, bring the blend slider down to zero, and activate the keyframe button. Go to the last frame and bring the blend slider up to one. If you want, you can select the transform node, go to the settings tab, and activate the motion blur box. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, blame it on the moon.